Curse me, kilts. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Boy. Yeah, but you better watch out. The Beagle Boys mess with your security system. <laughs> yeah, we take over the whole place. <laughs> yeah, me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. <laughs> Mama, be so proud. I-I-I caught me a duck! Now that's what I call a stomachache! You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder! Thanks, Uncle Scrooge! You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin and... We? Sure! Louie and Dewey are here, too! You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. We might be in trouble. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Uh, 
Hey, I did. Are you hurt, lad? Now, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand Beagle Boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Victor. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kilt. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me a cockroach. It's not worth it. Nonsense, my boy. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. When I get the gold, I'm gonna buy Ma a new hat. What are you waiting for, my duck? You'll never beat us, Scrooge. Ow! Fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Careful or you'll scuff the floor. I'm gonna get you. Your safe is securely sir. I think I'll bust you with this bus. Ah. Oh dear. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. Hanging from the ceiling. 
safe is securely suspended. Curse you, Mutt Duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Eh, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brick a doon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look, one of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. It's a long way to the moon, lads, but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! Mr. McDuck, mm, I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it'd take a feather brain like you to believe her. Look, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look! Here's someone who could give us directions! Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> 